Dear viewer, what you're about to listen to may contain the derogatory F word, the R word, multiple uses of the C word, and beyond that, much, much worse. That being said, hood one, you silly bitch, it's time to step up. Basically, what I said for the non Māori speaking folk is Hi, my name is Kovu Jankai. My tribe is Nga Puhi, and the boat that my people used to get from Hawaii to New Zealand is the Nga Tokimatfaro. Cho cho. Now, <sighs> Hoodie thinks that us in New Zealand have no idea what savage is. He also thinks that the whites took it rightfully back. From the savages. Like white was the color of America before James Cook came along. Before your Christopher McDumbasses came singing their fucking song about here's a Bible for you, savage man. Learn some bloody culture, boy. And then we're going to rape and pillage all your women and villagers and destroy each and every person that we can get our grubby white mitts on. That's not racism, you dumb cunt. It's what people reflect on. You talk about Independence Day, July 4th, <laughs> but what people like you don't want to talk about is who and why they fought. What you don't want to talk about is how your culture destroyed what used to be a group of peaceful living soldiers. Now Chris Columbus and James Cook What do they have in common? Maybe management. Because they discovered lands that were already fucking inhabited. Now I'm not saying you're as stupid as them, but you're probably not as smart. And if I think James Cook and Chris Columbus are fucking retards, then what do you think I think of you, Mr. Hoodie, you dumb cunt? I will tell you how it is. But you can tell Mr. Connor what you want. You can tell him I was mean to you, you can tell him I was racist, but I'm just trying to teach someone who came from an uneducated slut. And don't even get me started on your mother and what she's like. Because judging by the way you are, she seems like the town bike. That means everyone gets to ride her and nobody will forget. Damn. 
I bet now that he's tempted me, he's filled with fucking regret. Don't worry. I was actually about to call you bro. And then, uh, I could feel the vomit coming up at the bottom of my throat. So you're right, we're not the same species. And I'm glad for that. Because if I had to be related to some human Nazi trash, oh by the way, when I do this, my hand is straight up in the air. So please, please, look around everywhere. Try to find the smallest mistake. That Kovu Jenkai has said. And maybe, just maybe, you might keep your head. Maybe, just maybe, the water will be under hit. Maybe, just maybe, you can keep that final breath. Or maybe, just maybe, Hoodie will walk to his own death. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, you will eh, survive. Nah. Maybe, just maybe, we don't keep this man alive. You see, we're smarter than we used to be. And your failure is... That's why you are failure is... You try to differentiate on a college level, because you start using words that make you sound smarter than you are, but behind all of that bravado, you're just another dumb retard. So Hoodie and the Hoodlums, they're going to come through to twitch.tv slash kovujenkai and I think that you should too and when he does come through to the chat and everyone watching knows he will I will tear his bitch ass apart while looking at TOS still. Which means no N words, no F words, no homophobia, no racism, no ableist toxicity bullshit. But I can still hate on him. Which means if I want to call him a bad orgasm or if I think that he is worse than a spasm if I think he's been a spastic I will call him out and then my moderators will finish him all over again. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, 9 a.m. on the dot, you will see not this setting, this setting. On the spot. This question will probably change. These followers will probably go up and then someone's 
get modded and my name will probably blow up. You see, his first argument was that I caused 9-11. His first argument was that I'm a raghead. And that, I left. I just let him. But then there was the one mistake that this little Muppet made. And that is why you do not want to play this game because I'm not afraid of risking everything I've got 120 something on YouTube and the 450 or what how many is there let's go back to this one again oh look right there out of 500 it's 477 so bring 22 of your favorite people and blow up my chat. And then, when you're finished, and I'll be recording all of that, I will take the parts you started, I will send them to the cops, and I will make sure that your family suffers lots. We'll get Interpol involved, won't we? Hell, we'll probably go to court. So you and your raggedy parents? Yeah. You better put this on your record. Internationally, the Kiwis are not a tribe to be fucked with. Because we will treat you no different than our ancestors treated James Cook. Which means if you have the balls to meet me face to face, get your ass on a plane, come to my place. Because I don't really have the energy or the time to come to you. Plus, I'm... Afraid of the syphilis that I'd catch if I do. I'm afraid that there's a swastika hanging outside your house. And you're standing there with your arm outstretched like... Shake fucking hell! Even though you have no idea, you do not understand what the fuck those Nazi pricks did to those Jewish women and men. Now they're a minority, and so are the blacks. So are the Mexicans, but you ain't ready for that. Uh, ahora no habla español. Or, ahora no habla inglés. <laughs> Yo hablo español. Pero... Eh, I won't say that, no. I was gonna go back to the whore hole. But I won't do that, I promise you. I won't call your mother a whore. But if you turn and walk away, turn and walk away now, you won't have to fuck with me no more. Okay? That's the deal. It's what it is. And the choices that you make from here are either walk away, leave me alone, or face me and I make you disappear.
Tēnā koe, tēnā koutou, tēnā no tātou kātou kā heke, ke kaha, ke maia, ke mana wanui. Be strong, be brave, be steadfast, stand up for what you believe in, even if what you believe in is full of shit. Like hoodie. And I'll see you next time. Peace.